Hello, there are shows here, and welcome to, I think it's the fifth part now, for the uh, CD collection update. And, uh, well, I don't really have that much film left in my camera, and I really want to do all of these in, uh, yeah, just one uh, on the camera, film on the camera. Anyway, uh, continuing on, we have three releases. Uh, from Parkway Drive, uh, being Killing with a Smile, Deep Blue, and Atlas. Next we have an EP from Perdition, This Wretched World. And yes, I know that there are more bands that are called Perdition, uh, but this is the Symphonic Deathcore one that uh, sadly uh, disbanded uh, not too long ago. Really sad when really great bands do do that. So yeah. Anyway, uh, next we have a split with Putrefy and uh, Blastized and Vomitio Strictum with Vomiting Putrid Blasphemy. Next we have another split, and it, uh, it's between uh, Rot Revoir, uh, Repulsion, Monstrosity, Incantation, all these four, and uh, it's uh, a Relapse Simon Series Volume 3, so yeah, there you have it, uh, it's uh, Simon Series from Relapse Records, yeah. Anyway, next band we have Sabaton with Carlos Rex, even the limited Dicky Book version edition. Then we have Scar Symmetry. Uh, three seeders from them. Uh, first one being Symmetric in Design. Next one being. Pitch Black Progress and then Dark Matter dimension Dimensions. And then we have um, I don't know a soundtrack for the release of a movie uh, made by Scott Hall from Is it Napalm Death? Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, I don't really like all the songs really, but uh, uh, a few are pretty good at least. Uh, um, ambientic kind of uh, style, I don't know. Some It's soundtrack, yeah, so uh, you should more or less know what it's about. So anyway, next we have two albums from Shadow of the Colossus, they're self-titled, and Endgame. And yes, uh, their name are, uh, they took the name uh, because they are a really huge fan of the game with the same name. So, yeah, that's for you. Um, and then we have Sirenia with Pearls of the Deep Blue. Then we have Sirens with the EP Spore. And yes, uh, you probably know that uh, there are plenty of bands with the name Sirens, and this is one of them. And uh, me myself, I like actually three different bands with the name Sirens. Uh, so yeah, you really have to. Uh, so I usually to try to uh, the name of the band and then uh, where they come from. And uh, I don't remember wh which where this band comes from. Uh, if it was Birmingham or if it was uh, yeah, I don't remember. But I will probably write it down in the uh, description. So anyway. 
Next we have solution for the five for ions past. Then we have two releases uh, from Sonic Syndicate. First one being the Love and Other Disasters, uh, the Rebellion Pack, which uh, contains both the uh, Love and Other Disasters uh, CD Plus DVD Limited Edition and the Burn List CD EP. Uh, but uh, I didn't really bought this because I wanted the Burn CD EP as well. Uh, it was mostly because it was a really cool packaging and to get the Love and Other Disasters one. And the other one is Only Inhuman Toy Edition one. And then we have two releases from uh, a favorite band of mine. Uh, not the one, but one of the top ten one. Uh, first, uh, the band is called Surruption, and uh, the first is an EP called Illuminate the Excessive, and then the other one is called Deterioration of Minds. And then we have Structures divided by. And after that, we have two albums from Suffocation, first one being the subtitle, and the other one being the limited edition of Pinnacle of Bethlehem. And then we have Supreme Pain, Divine Incarnation. And well, uh, let's try to make the other one real quick. Uh, now the pipe money. Tarnias Kingdom Temporal Exitium, or how you fuck you pronounce it. The Organ Dawn, a blank eternity. Then we have the Birthday Massacre, and I know they're not really metal, but uh, uh, I'm not really that uh, wild limited to only metal, I'm more that who the fuck cares if uh, it's a few uh, non-metal uh, releases in a metal CD uh, collection. Whatever, whatever the fuck. Uh, first one being the EP Looking in Glass. And uh, from this one, I uh, discovered that uh, I'm not really that huge into remixes uh, of the songs. Uh, it's not that I don't like uh, another version of a song, but uh, from, from the original original one. But uh, it's more the I don't like how folk remixes these songs. It's yeah, I can discuss more about that uh, in another video. And uh, the other one is Pins and Needles. And next we have the breathing process with In Waking Divinity. And then we have the Browning Burn This World. And after that we have one, two, three, four, five releases, or uh, five CDs I mean, of the Devil vs. Prada. Uh, first two being the same, uh, Plagues is called. This one being the uh, regular edition one, and this one being the limited edition. Uh, and why I bought two is, well, uh, I more or less bought them at the same time, and uh, I. It's partly because I wanted to have the limited edition uh, songs. Uh, uh, no songs, I don't mean uh, stuff on this one, as well as I wanted both uh, because it's uh, different artworks and, uh, well, I'm a collector and uh, I like that kind of stuff. Uh, 
So yeah, anyway, next one being uh, with the roots above and branches below. Then the, the uh, I mean zombie EP, uh, which is would be really interesting if they continued on with this kind of uh, sound. Yeah, because uh, on on this one they sound really fucking heavy and. Uh, a lot of the even uh, people that uh, usually don't like uh, the uh, the Denver Strada uh, do enjoy this one. So, so if you don't r really like most of what the, the Denver Strada have done, well, uh, you can uh, check this one out and try it. A whole fucking EP dedicated to zombies. So add something. Anyway, and next one we have a Dead Throne. Then we have the Juliet Massacre with Pray for an Afterlife. After that we have two releases from the Order of Elijah. Elisha, I don't know. Uh, first being Asesh. A session and the other one being in dethrone. Then we have the Red Death Gunmakers. And so next band uh, having two limited edition uh, CDs from them. Uh, the, uh, the band is called The Unguided. And the first one being Hellfrost, Ma the only uh, A5 uh, digipack version I really have, and the other one being Fragile Immortality, with four fucking uh, bonus tracks. Then we have a Theocracy with a Mirror of Souls. Next we have two releases from this divided world, first one being When Darkness Reigns, and the other one being the EP The Missing Pages. Both uh, of them being signed by the only uh, really uh, static uh, member of the band. Anyway, uh, next we have Through Solace, The World on Standby. Next of that is Through the Eyes of the Dead, uh, Skepsis. Signed even, if you see it around here. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, and then we have Diabolist Murder, Hate. And the last one for this video, we have Times of Grace, the hymn of a broken man. So yeah, this is the end of part 5 I think it is, and uh, well, let's see you in the next part.